Wing is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number twenty, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October thirty first, nineteen seventy two, in Vrindavan, India. Shivang Prasanna Manasu Bhagavata Bhakti Jovata Bhagavata Tattva Vidyanam Mukta Sangha Sajaya. So, the absolute truth is scientific knowledge. It is not sentiment. I expect, accept somebody as God by votes. That is not Bhagavat Tattva Vijnana. One must know what is the definition of God. It is not that somebody comes forward with a long beard and says, I am God, and we just accept him as God. No, not like that. It is Vijnana. Vijnana means science. Without scientific knowledge, one cannot understand what is God. Vagavat uh, Tattva And who can understand this Vigyan, this scientific knowledge? Mukta Sangasya, one who is liberated from the contamination of the three modes of material nature. He can understand. Those who are contaminated with tamagun, rajagun, they can create their own god. There are different types of god also. In one sense everyone is god. God means the controller. So everyone is to some extent a controller. But as I have explained several times, real controller means who is not controlled by others? That is God. If I am controlled by the material nature, they will jesa gunamai mamo maya durattaya. Birth, death, old age and disease, if I am controlled by these conditions of nature, then how I can become God? God is never controlled. Therefore, one who can understand God must be free from the contamination of this material nature. Mukta Sangas. This is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Nasochati Nakang Samas Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhavakti Lavate Para. When one has realized Brahma, Prasannātmā, Prasannātmā, Brahma-bhūta Prasanna. here also it is said, eh? even prasanna manaso, the same thing you will find everywhere. There cannot be any contradiction. prasanna manaso and Prasannātmā, the same thing. So how one can become uh, prasannātmā or prasannamanaso, that is described here. Bhagavad-bhakti-yogat. Evaṁ prasannamanaso, bhagavad-bhakti-yogat. Uh, if you accept bhagavad-bhakti-yoga, devotional service to the Lord, He shall be prasannamanaso. You shall be always feeling jolly. If I am not jolly, if I am not prasanna manaso, that means Maya has attacked me. Bhagavad Bhakta shall never be aprasanna, not joyful, always joyful. But if he is actually in contact with Krishna, how he can become morose? No. If he is morose, if he is unhappy, that means Maya has attacked. 
दीदी दी टेस्ट रूपको स्वामी से उत्साह वी शैल बी ऑल एज एंथ्यूजियस्टिक बट वी कैनॉट बिकम एंथ्यूजियस्टिक आर्टिफिशियल देर मस्ट बी भगवत भक्ति योग जस्ट लाइक दीज विजिटर्स इन दी टेम्पल सी हाउ मच एंथ्यूजियस्टिक दे आर दे आर राइजिंग ऑल इन द मॉर्निंग गोइंग टू टेक बाथ इन दी जमुना and they are visiting so many temples especially the damodar temple because it is damodar month and from 5 o'clock and more or before that eh 3 o'clock they are enthusiastic uh, they are not sleeping very nicely uh, that means lack of bhagavad bhakti yoga it is maya so you must be very careful test if we cannot rise early in the morning that means we are under the clutches of maya this is the test chaitanya mahapuru therefore said jib jago jib jago gurachand bole koto nidra jao maya pishachi ra koi Uh, sleeping is very dangerous it is to be understood that i am under the clutches of samma the more we sleep because the symptom of tamogon is laziness and sleep this is the symptom of tamo uh, laziness and sleeping uh, and the uh, symptoms of rajagon very active but just like monkey monkeys are very active uh, but all injurious uh, whenever they will see they are not very good but not a single moment they are inactive but all foolishness that is passion and goodness means knowledge Uh, so in a previous verse it is described how to come to the platform of goodness when one comes to the platform of goodness then he becomes prasanna manu uh, because he is not attacked by the modes of ignorance and passion means laziness sleep and foolishly active foolishly active is more dangerous uh, than uh, less active because if one is dangerous it is better not to become very much active because uh, let's like this monkey he will find all a very active but nobody likes them as soon as a monkey comes everyone drives uh, get out get out get out therefore we should not be lazy and sleepy at the same time not foolishly active we must come to the real standard of life goodness uh, then we can begin our devotional service uh, that is also confirmed in the bhagavad gita brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kaankhati समा सर्वेश भूतेश मद भक्ति लवते परा आफ्टर बींग ब्रह्म भूत आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्लियरली अहम ब्रह्मास्मी वन कैन चेक टू ट्रांसेंडेंटल लविंग सर्विस ऑफ द लॉ नॉट दैट बिफोर बिफोर इफ वी टेक भक्ति जो भाव Of course, he he shall become gradually uh, Brahma Bhuta also. Bhakti Yoga is so nice that it does not depend on any condition. Ahi to ki apriti hota. Apriti hota means not under any condition. You can begin uh, in whichever position you are. You can begin immediately. Uh, 
we can begin hearing about Krishna from any point. Sarvanam Kirtana. It doesn't matter. And if you follow strictly the Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga process, then automatically you are situated above goodness. Sagunan Samatita Itan Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpat. Anyone who has taken seriously devotional service, Vasudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayajita Janayati Asu Bhairagam. Liberation means knowledge and detachment. Knowledge, full knowledge means that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, and my bodily activities are not congenial for my ultimate goal of life. I must engage myself in spiritual activity. This is called jnana and vairāgya. When one knows that he is not body, then why should he work hard day and night for maintaining this body? That is knowledge. And karmīs, they are trying to maintain this body. Sometimes karmīs also take to bhakti-yoga, not bhakti-yoga, so-called bhakti. But their aim is how to maintain this body nicely. That is also accepted. Akama sarva kama ga moksha kama ga. Because if you take to bhakti yoga even for maintaining this body nicely, that is also very nice. Because gradually, due to the influence of bhakti yoga, he will come to the platform of Mukta, Mukta Sangha. Bhakti Yoga is so strong. Your Shastra recommends that either you are karmi, either you are jnani, either you are yogi, you take to devotional service, your all desires will be fulfilled. That is the injunction. Akama sarva kama ba moksha kama udaradhi tibdena bhakti yogena jajita paramam purusha. This is the recommendation. It is all inclusive. If you have got desire, like the karmis or the jnanis or the yogis, you take to bhakti yoga, Bhagavad bhakti yoga, you will become prasanna manasa. You will be in gladness. You will come to the platform of joyfulness. Anandamaya vyasa. Spiritual life means anandamaya. There is no uh, displeasure, all is ānanda. That is spiritual life. Uh, spiritual life means ānanda and material life means anxiety. You can distinguish. If you are always put into anxiety, that is material life. And if you are always jolly, that is spiritual life. Ānandamaya uh, bhyāsā. So, here it is the same thing. Because one has taken to Bhakti Yoga, he must be prasanna manaso, very joyful. If you are ang- ang- full of anxiety, how you can understand the science of God? That is not possible. So, evang prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti. By execution of Bhakti Yoga, you come to the platform of transcendental bliss, prasanna manas. Transcendental spiritual life means eternal blissful life of knowledge. That is spiritual platform. And material life means temporary uh, life of miserable condition. Temporary life of miserable condition. That is material life. And spiritual life means eternal, blissful life of knowledge. This life is temporary, but when we are transferred to our spiritual life, that is eternal. Satchitananda Vidya. We are also part and parcel of Satchitananda Vigraha. Vigraha means form. Satchitananda does not mean 
impersonal. That is foolishness, another foolishness. Ananda cannot be impersonal. You can make experiment. Suppose if you are put into a big room without any man coming there, and so you cannot feel very comfortable for a long time. You will feel lonely. You shall try to come out. Uh, just like we have got experience. Uh, everyone has got experience. Uh, when he rise uh, very high in the sky, uh, but we cannot remain in that condition more than uh, at most eight to ten hours, then we become very much um, restless. Uh, although it is very high in the sky, but we cannot remain in that way. Therefore, Shastra says, Arujya kachena parang padang tata patanti adha anayadrita jusma dhang. One who does not take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, he may rise up very high by austerity and penance, but he cannot remain in that position. He may give up artificially uh, this material world, jagat mithya, but he has to come down again to this mithya yoga, jagat and open his schools and hospitals. Because he cannot remain in that impersonal way. Uh, that is the experience. All so-called Brahmavadi, uh, they say that we have become liberated, but not liberated. That is simply concoction, vimukta uh, manina. They think like that. Actually, they are not liberated. Abhishuddha buddha, uh, without being liberated, when one speaks that I have become liberated, that means avishuddha buddha. The intelligence is not clear. He does not know what is liberation. Uh, liberation means prasanna manaso, full love, joyfulness. That is liberation. Evang prasanna manaso bhagavad tattva vigyan. Tattva means truth. You have to understand. Bhagavan, in truth, so that's to understand in truth, there is a science, that is not sentiment, vijñāna. Uh, in another place Krishna says, uh, to advise Brahmā, caturśla-jīvā, bhāgā, uh, jñānaṁ, in the Bhagavad-gītā also, jñānaṁ sabhi-jñāna. Uh, Jnanam me paramam gudhyam jad vijnana samannitam. Uh, the jnanam me paramam guhyam. The knowledge of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is very, very confidential. Jnanam me paramam guhyam jad vijnana samannitam. It is not sentiment. It is full of scientific knowledge. Uh, so, when we understand the truth, the absolute truth, scientifically, that is called bhagavat tattva vijñānam. That bhagavat tattva vijñānam is understandable by a person who is liberated, uh, one who is very busy, uh, anchored with politics, sociology, uh, humanitarianism, uh, one who is very busy always in politics, how he can become interested or how he can understand bhagavat tattva vigyā That is not possible. Therefore, these are the tests to understand. A politician may pose himself that he is very advanced in spiritual life, but when he sees that he is more interested in politics, then in Krishna, then we can understand what is his position. Uh, these are the tests. Or politics or sociology or anything. Uh, a pure devotee is always interested how Krishna would be satisfied, just like Gaudiya. Of course, when one is interested in that way, all other things, subordinate things, they come within. 
Uh, replied Arjuna, was a great devotee of Krishna. At the same time, he was a politician. Uh, so, but the first interest is to become Krishna. How to satisfy Krishna? Not that for political purpose I love Krishna. No. You love Krishna and your all problems, political, social and other things will be solved. This is Krishna consciousness. You don't require to attempt uh, for political reasons uh, and uh, make Krishna consciousness second name. Uh, therefore we say that if people, not all, is some percentage of the whole population of the world, become Krishna conscious, the, all the problems of the world will be solved. We don't expect that ten percent people will be Krishna conscious, but simply a, a few percent, say uh, uh, five percent, if one, the people of the whole population, they become Krishna conscious, uh, then the face of the world will change. Isava samidam sarvam. Uh, because if the leaders, they understand Krishna consciousness and act accordingly, the others will follow. Jajjadāsirati śrestha tattat eva itarejana. Itarejana, common man, follows the leaders. So, even uh, prasanna manasa, how to become happy mood of life, uh, that is described here, Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. One has to take the Krishna consciousness. Uh, and Mukta Sangasa, uh, Bhagavad Tattva Vijnana, Mukta Sangasa Jaya. Nobody can understand Krishna unless he is liberated from the influence of the modes of material nature. You can read the purport. Hmm. Purport. In the Bhagavad Gita, ah. Bhagavad Gita 7.3, it is said that out of many thousands of ordinary men, one fortunate man endeavors for perfection of life. Mostly they are conducted by the modes of passion and ignorance. And thus they are engaged always in lust, desire, hankerings, ignorance, and sleep. Out of many such man-like animals, there is actually a man who knows the responsibility of human life, and thus tries to make life... So a human being, in the modes of ignorance and passion, they are animals. They are not considered as human beings. They are animals. Rajasthama bhava, kamalu so actually a person is considered to be human being when he comes to the platform of goodness or he acquires the quality of a bona fide Brahman, then he is considered as human being. God. And thus tries to make life perfect by following the, the prescribed duties. And out of many and, and, that of, and out of such many thousands of persons who have thus attained success in human life, one may know scientifically about the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. Yes, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Manushanam Sahasreshu Kasti Jadati Siddha. Uh, because we are coming from animals by the evolutionary process, uh, according to Shastra, it is said that the Darwin theory says from monkey, that is also fact. The after monkey, a man, uh, the living entity comes to the human form. Somebody says after lion, somebody says after cow. Uh, so from the animals we, the human form is developed. So, uh, so unless that human body also deformed, uh, the he remains animal. Uh, that deformation requires. Samaskar, reformation, enlightenment, cultural life. That cultural life culminates when actually one becomes a Brahman Vaishnava. 
that is real cultural life, not by birth, but by cultivation of knowledge, education, advancement, spiritual knowledge, one comes to the platform of Brahma. Uh, so Manusalam Sahasrasu Kasti Jatati Siddha. This is the platform of Siddhi. But nobody is interested to become a Brahman, qualified. Everyone wants to become a Shudra. Uh, Kalau Shudra Sambhava, especially in this age, nobody is interested. Uh, just like uh, we are asking people to take to Krishna consciousness and give up the habit of illicit sex life and intoxication and gambling and meat eating, that people love. So what is this? This is the life. If we give up these things, especially in the Western countries, they think it is denying the primary necessities of life. They say, uh, some of my students, they left our association because they could not follow these principles. Uh, their complaint is that Prabhupada is denying the primary necessities of life. Uh, therefore, it is said, Manusalam Sahasas, it is very difficult to give up these four bad habits. Manusalam Sahasas, Kasti Jatati Siddhaya. But this is the path of perfection. But they are not interested in perfection. They want to rot as hogs and dogs in this world. That is their purpose. Uh, therefore Krishna says, Manusalam sahasyesu kacchi jatati siddha. Nobody is interested to become Brahman. Uh, they, they are interested to become dogs and hogs. That is their interest. Uh, Manusalam sahasyesu kacchi jatati siddha. And jatatamadi siddhyāna, uh, it is not that coming to the platform of a qualified brāhmaṇa one can understand Krishna. That is also not. Still you have to go farther. brahma bhuta brahma jānāti iti brāhmaṇa. Brāhmaṇa can understand brahma. He can understand that he is also part and parcel of brahma. But that understanding is not sufficient. He has to go farther to become a Vaishnava to understand the Supreme Personality of God, the Absolute Truth as person. Vaishnava means to understand the Absolute Truth as person, not in person. In the Brahmana state, uh, even they understand Brahma, that is impersonal view. Uh, but you one has to go far above. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaniti, Sabdhati. One has to make progress from the Brahma platform to Paramātmā platform, then to the personality of God and understand. Therefore Krishna says, yatatāma viśiddhāna. Uh, somebody is trying to come to the platform of brahma bhuta state, that is called siddha state. But yatatāma viśiddhāna kaschit vetti māntatva. So they also cannot understand Krishna. Uh, Krishna can be understood only by this process, Bhagavad Bhakti Yogatha, Evang Prasanna Manasu Bhagavad Bhakti Yogatha, Bhagavad Tattva Vijnana Mukta Sangha Sajaya. So all has to become liberated from the Brahminical stage also. Then he can understand Krishna. So Krishna understanding is not so easy. It is very difficult. Uh, Krishna says, but by the grace of Krishna, because he wanted to distribute himself. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu giving us Krishna freely, Krishna Prema Pradal. Rupa Goswami says that Nama Mahavadana, Krishna was also not so liberal. He simply asked us surrender, but he did not distribute himself. But in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he distributed himself. Take me, take me, take me. Without any price, take me. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, who is Krishna? And he has come in the form of Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya, to distribute himself. Therefore, he is recognized Namo Mahapadana, the most magnificent. Uh, no other incarnation uh, in Ramchandra or Bhagavan, Krishna, uh, they are not so liberal. Uh, 
ব্যাট চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু সহ লেবার হ্যাঁ পাপি তাপি যত ছিল হরি নামে উদ্ধার আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং কৃষ্ণ ইট ইজ ভেরি ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট সাবজেক্ট ম্যাটার বাট বিকজ উই আর ট্রাই টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড কৃষ্ণ থ্রু চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু দেখ ইট হ্যাজ বিজ আমি আদারওয়াইজ ইট ইজ ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট আদারওয়াইজ কৃষ্ণ হিংসেল সেস মনুষানাম সহস্র সুপস্থিত যত থাকি ইট উইল টেক বাট অ্যাজ উই আর ফলোন কৃষ্ণ ইজ অলসো অ্যাজ মাচ লিভার অলসো দিস এজ সি ইফ ইউ স্টিল ইউ ডু নট টেক এডভান্টেজ দ্য হাউ মাচ আনফর্চুনেট ইউ আর ইউ ক্যান কনসিডার থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ